Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to get rid of lizards and geckos and anoles from your home. All right, um, in the months that start to warm up, particularly spring and summer, especially here in the south where I am, we get them all the time. And um, they tend to find places where they like to bask in the sun. For us right here, it was right here yesterday, I saw a gecko right here. It was actually an anole. And, um, they like to come down here on these little brick awning area and um, on our decks and just hang out in the heat, sometimes on these pillars right here. Anyway, they make um, their home here and it sucks and because uh, they poop everywhere and uh, they're just gross, they, they freak people out. Anyway, you don't need to necessarily treat your home with chemicals because of this. Um, you can use a natural repellent we use a uh, natural um, one. It's just got peppermint oil in it and cinnamon oil and castor oil. It's just all mixed up. I got this on Amazon. It's just called Lizard Repellent for your home, Colton's Naturals. Um, and it's pretty simple. I've been using this for several years now. Um, for example, all I'll do is just spray along here. This is where I saw them. I'll spray here. And uh, they were there yesterday, and I'm sure tomorrow when they come, they're gonna try to get on the area and notice it just doesn't smell right. Um, geckos and uh, anoles, they have about 100 times the smell receptors of humans. So if you're phased with 100 times more cinnamon or peppermint oil, it's gonna smell disgusting. So that's how it smells to them. It feels like the area is compromised. Now they're gonna just move. So they might just end up moving to like your front porch um, the next thing you'll do is just kind of spray that area. You can even do it before they move there. So as soon as they go there, they're, they're grossed out right away. Um, they like to hang out on my uh, patio furniture. Um, so I'll just go ahead and spray that as well. I mean, it just smells like cinnamon and peppermint, so it smells pretty good. Uh, it does not bother me at all. I think it just smells kind of good actually. Um, and it's just peppermint oil and cinnamon oil. So I, I'm not freaked out because there's no chemicals in it. And um, I just do that regularly. Um, on these enclosed areas, like where the rain can't wash things off, it can last over, like over a month, just keep repelling them. And uh, if it loses its strength, just reapply it. Every time you reapply it, they will not want to go back in that area again. It just becomes disgusting to them. And um, just keep doing things until they, they move away. Eventually they, just end up moving to your neighbor's house and becoming your neighbor's problem. Um, they're habitual. So if you keep spraying um, over, I would say about a month, um, their habits are gonna just make them go to another place and, and um, they'll forget that your area exists. So if you wait a month or two and you, you haven't sprayed in a while, they might start to seep back in again as they're testing your area out and you might just have to spray once or twice. But just know, um, if you stay on it, they'll go away for, for good pretty much and um, life gets better. So yeah, I just got it on Amazon. Colton's Naturals Lizard Repellent. Um, it's got peppermint oil and cinnamon oil. Maybe you got something like that at your place and you can repel it there. All right guys, have a good one, bye.